Well, it's Friday. It is Friday. How are you guys? We are doing. Somebody decided it wasn't cold enough. They needed to. No, um, those went on sale, I would say, probably three and a half months ago. Yeah. And we ended up selling eight of them. Uh, we got two immediately, and then Milwaukee put them on back order for a very long time. And yeah, it was a national back order. Um, they just come in, so we've been delivering them all week. Uh, I guess you can go off better late than never, right? <laughs> uh, which we started notifying people when um, we realized that they wouldn't come in as quick as they wanted to. Right. Um, we started telling people, you know, if you want to cancel, it's fine, and nobody did. They said it's going to have another summer next year. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, a lot of them's putting them in race trailers and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Racing season was, uh, for the most part, finished up. So, but they'll uh, have them next year, ready to go. I was just wondering if it wasn't cool enough for some folks. But. <laughs> I don't know. I, I know. Uh, I know people that run their AC uh, all year long. So, some people are made for the Antarctica temperatures, I guess. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. I, I am not ready for one of those people either. Uh, if it's going to be this cold, it better snow, last about two or three days, and go on. Yep. I'm ready for summer again. That's it. That is what it is. Well, man, you got a bunch of stuff laid out up here. Yeah, we, uh, we're in full swing. Everybody knows it's almost time for Santa Claus, so mm -hmm. um, everybody's it's that time of year to start looking. Uh, so that's what we've been doing. Um, they had a pre-order on the bump box, or not really a pre-order, but they had them in a flyer. They said that they were going to start shipping out in December. It's got the new design on the uh, Ultra Plus model, so there's two people that's already picked them out for Christmas presents. That's cool. And then, obviously, hats are always good for Christmas presents. Absolutely. And just random stuff. Uh, I mean, we sell flashlights, we sell the Groove Life belt, we sell gloves. you got patches? Those are a patch style hat. That's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't even know that we had those. Uh, we had a distributor who uh, has um, been able to get a dream job that he applied for before he ever got with Maco. So he's actually getting out. I bought some of his inventory and that's something that he had. So That's pretty neat. Um, yeah. It, got a couple options and really and truly uh any patch that you find out there that's got velcro on the back that's that can go on your hat so sun hat man y'all got all kind of cool stuff that's it man socks loads of socks lights beanies we've got your bright bluetooth beanies we've got your camouflage uh just regular style beanie uh, hoodies jackets uh groove life wallets man Cobra Tech knives. We got a little thing, everything for your Christmas presents. Don't even uh, have to go to the store to buy Christmas. And get well, that's it right. You know, everybody talks about uh, back in the day when that was real popular to use uh, layaway. Yeah. Uh, which a lot of people still use layaway when they have it. The only thing that's better than layaway uh, is to be able to get the item and then still have like a layaway payment, <laughs> yeah, right? That's it. So that's how that works on here. So they get to pick it out. They get to get the item right away. And then uh, they get to pay on it, uh, depending on what you get, you know, for however long they need. But yeah, yeah. I like the uh, new hats that uh, black with the blue I got last or a couple weeks ago. I, yeah, it's a really good looking cap. Um, and we, we've got several different styles hanging up too. Uh, we even had some Costa hats. They did not last long. Um, they had Costa on them, and then had Maco tools on the side of them. It was a uh, co-branded thing that we did with them so that tan or the gray and red hats a sharp hat too yeah yeah i and like those two. Logo on it. man yeah so a little bit that's of everything nice. for everybody right that's it um we've also been selling a lot of these um not for christmas presents but just for uh the technicians use you know I can't tell you how many people come out to the truck weekly for new rings yep. uh, for their impacts. They seem to last uh, three to four months. If the sockets start getting wore out, obviously it takes a lot longer. 
or I, it uh, lasts a lot shorter time, I should right. say. And uh, so what we're finding is people like to buy these kits because they come with the tool to take it off. Pretty easy to put them on. Uh, you just put it, put it down and, and roll it anyway, but they've actually got a deal here that makes it easier to put it on also. Uh, and they don't have to wait on a tool truck, so they've got sure. the tools they need. And then they just refill the rings instead of having to do that. Mm -hmm. And we actually run upon uh, a guy that had needed a ring so long and just kept forgotten to ask that he actually wore the anvil out. It messed the anvil up to where the ring wouldn't go on. That's pretty um, So we got him one of these, and we got his impact covered, and then um, we gave we got him one of those so that he could keep that from happening. But um, man, just, you've you've used a lot of sockets to wear an anvil out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he pulls transmissions all day, every day. Oh yeah. So uh, they rebuild transmissions, and all he does is strictly pull them in and put them out. So when he gets one pulled out, they've got another one on another rack for him to put back in. So. Uh, yeah, he wears them out pretty, pretty wow. quick. Well, how's the life and sales been going for you guys? It's been going good. We picked up, uh, obviously we still haven't got a box there. Uh, that was different yesterday because we actually went uh, Wednesday afternoon, picked a box up, put it on here. It sold yesterday morning. Holy and cow. we did get, if nothing changes, as long as I can follow through on my part, which I think is um, pretty much done, um, that yellow box is sold. Um, Good deal. So we had somebody call uh, that wanted that box. Uh, he was approved through Maco, so he told us to put a sold sticker on it yesterday. So we should have cool. that box sold too. Um, you can't beat selling two boxes in a week. Absolutely. So. Them kids going to have a good Christmas this year. <laughs> well, I don't, you know how kids are. They're spoiled. But That's it. Something else we've been doing this week is we've been talking about ratchets because a lot of people did not know that we actually have these style ratchets as well. Right. Um, I had a, a technician that was showing me, you know, I've always said I like tools. No matter who, yep. what brand's on it, I like tools. Uh, and this this kid knew that, so he wanted to show me his uh, snap-on ratchet that he bought because it was like this, and he uh -huh. prefaced it with, I would have bought it from you, but y'all don't have these. And I was like, well, hey, love your ratchet, but we do have those. And it mainly because we've never had one of these on the truck. Right. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to get one on the truck, and I wanted to, to let it know that we, we do have these style ratchets. Mm -hmm. So, um, which now he did get the one with a comfort grip. Ours do not have a comfort grip on this style, so his is still a little different. Um, very nice ratchet. I'm sure that'll be fixed real soon. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, we, we'll see. But yeah, these these are um, but uh, really unique ratchets. Um, I don't. I never really use one a whole lot, but there's a lot of people out there that like right. these. So if you're looking for that style ratchet and you like your Mako styles. There's one there. This one does have a little button to push to let the socket on and off. That's mm -hmm. different than the other ones as well. Something else that we've uh, started educating uh, people on, and it's really been a failure on our part, not on anybody else's. Um, you know, you get a lot of new kids that come on the truck. They're looking at ratchets. They price the ratchet. Nobody's going to lie when a tool truck ratchet is high. Yeah. I mean, we, we all know that, right? They're, the quality is there. But the price is up there too, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times they go and they buy uh, from either the auto parts store or big store. We all know what big store I'm talking about. Um, but we actually do have options. So like this ratchet here, it is a Silver Eagle. So it is a Mako, but right. it's a Silver Eagle. Um, it's not made in the same factory as those, obviously. Um, but this ratchet right here, three eighths. I mean, everything that you want to have a ratchet, uh, 39 bucks. Can't beat so it. you've got that. It may be 35, 35, 39, one of those. Um, then you have this one here for your quarter inch. I think it's like $29. So we, we have failed on that part of not having an alternative, right? Yeah. So uh, we're going to start carrying these two for them to the newer techs that mm -hmm. may not know if they want to do this the rest of their life. They just took a job and, you know, changing oil or something like that. These ratchets will do you just fine. They're lifetime sure. warranty. Um, and even if you're giving a ratchet away for Christmas, right? right? Um, you don't want to give away a $180 ratchet. You can give away a $30 ratchet with right. a lifetime warranty. Because people that's not in the trades, 
like you know my son-in-law he does hvac stuff and um he's got a lot of milwaukee tools that's mostly his power tool line that he uses and he's got the the pack out boxes and all that right well he was working on some stuff and he tried a macro ratchet you know the orange one that i've had forever it's been just yeah the godsend of my ratchet collection He's like, man, this is a really nice ratchet. I need to get me one of these. I was like, well, I pick you up one. He said, how much are they? I said, about 150 bucks. He's like, his words were, oh, shit, that's way too much money. But, like, they don't understand, you know, the difference. But, like, last year for Christmas, we bought him up this pipe sweller. Yeah. It's like 800 something dollars. To me, that was an absurd amount of money right. because it's not something that we use daily, but to him, that's... You know, it's all about where you're at. Well, and what you're using and what daily. what you're using, right. Um, and I will say, when you're using ratchets all day, um, you're, you're not going to want these two if you're using it sure. all day, every day. Uh, if you're just changing oil and you're finding out that, you know, if this is what I want to do, then mm -hmm. yeah, these are perfect. But when you decide, hey, this is what I want to do, it's just like a car. When you yeah. first get a car, unless you just got a ton of money, you get the first thing that's got wheels on it that goes. Yep. Uh, and then it, you move up from there. That's right. That's it may it. not have air. It that's may right. not have heat. But it gets you from point A to mm -hmm. point B. And then we upgrade. And that's that's the key thing on these. And we do have a half inch. I kept looking up there for a half inch. I don't know where I've put it. Um, and we may have already sold it. Well, but, everybody needs to have at least a beater ratchet. Nope. There's a half inch there. So Of some kind, you know. Well, and you know, with these being a lifetime warranty, and, and I've probably going to Let's just throw this out there. Michael probably going to agree with me. But if I was fixing to throw a pipe on one and be yeah, without one. That's what I was fixing to say. You got to have a beta ratchet. <laughs> yeah, like, so. You have uh, to have a beta ratchet. If I had one of these in my box, look that up and see how much that was for. Um, I can much rather do, you know, be without this one for a week. Or even if it's, you know, mm -hmm. with, like Thanksgiving, we were off for that week. Uh, Christmas, we're going to be off. Well, that year without a ratchet, have one of these. That's That's awesome. Well, um, you know, I read all the comments and stuff, and a lot of people don't believe in doing the upgrade thing. They just think you should buy once, cry once, right? But how many times have you needed two wrenches to do a job? Right. You know, one on each side, right? So those cheaper wrenches, I always call like your backup set, like your beater wrench, right? Yeah. Like if you need to hit it with a hammer, hey, man, that's that's the one you use, you know? Yeah. That kind of stuff. But Or if it's a little too long and you can't, get nothing else in there and you need to cut the end of that bad boy off it don't hurt near as bad to cut a five dollar wrench up as it does a sixty dollar wrench right you know? well and and it's also super expensive to get into the mechanic world for what oh, you yeah. get paid um you can argue that with a lot of professions mm -hmm. um, but i hear a lot of professions crying about what they get paid um and it's like yeah but y'all and they talk about budgets not being enough for this and that it's like well y'all are not paying for y'all stuff right. try to be in a mechanic's shoes to where they're going in underpaid mm -hmm. they're having to daily learn more or fall behind um they're automatically assumed that they're going to scam you i mean yeah. how many times is you heard you know well they're always going to recommend this 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 just as an upsell and it's like yes that does happen but that's not everywhere yep. you know um and then on top of that they got to spend thousands on tools right mm -hmm. um so i would rather see a technician buy these right off the bat that don't know if that's what he wants to do or even if he knows hey i went to college for it i love this i did it with my dad did it with my grandpa i'm going to do it the rest of my life that's great buy these and make a little bit of money and pay your other bills to where your life's not as hard yep. and then start upgrading because you know if i was a tech just starting out which i was and i started out with craftsman that's what my parents bought me that's perfectly fine it was a christmas gift they bought it for me i went into the shop become a mechanic guess what it got the job done they weren't the best tools i warranted a lot but yep. guess what i was able to support a family and do that too and that worked out perfect yep. um so yeah upgrade i i I understand the, the cry once thing, but I don't in another sense yeah. of... Like you always need a second set of everything, pretty much, at that's some right. point. Everything's going right. to break. I don't know like, nothing on this earth that's unbreakable, so everything's going to break 
so I'll have a backup of something. And why? I know a lot of people that have backups of these with another one, and that's mm -hmm. great. They're in a position they can do that. A tech starting out can't buy two of these at start just because this oh, one yeah. might break. Right. Right. Um, but also with that, uh, this one's forty nine dollars. So I mean, you're talking about for all three of these less than one hundred fifty bucks, yep. and you've got all three met. So that's something to pay attention to as well. Uh, I also wanted to uh, circle back to the scanner. I know I was supposed to be checking on sure. the ABS reset uh -huh. question. So when you pull it up online, it does say it does ABS um, resets, but that's kind of a loaded question, right? It's talking about clearing lights and codes. Mm -hmm. I ask our actual uh, reps if it would do the caliper and maintenance mode. They said no. Okay. So um, that's like I said, that's kind of a question on what we were asking there. Uh, depending on who you're asked, they're gonna say, "Yeah, it reset it," but we're not talking about putting the caliper in maintenance sure. mode and stuff like that. So for two hundred dollars, it's still a great scanner. Absolutely. Um, I would say buy the scanner in your mind to do um code resets live data you know look at live data and stuff like that and then be impressed with all that it does do extra instead of thinking it's going to do everything right, right. and then be uh you know disappointed in it so i mean for that money dude you can't you can't beat that that, right. was, a, that was a great deal on that yeah and i'm <laughs> I was going to use that one uh, as a, like a demo to try to get used to it, get familiar with it. Um, I was off the truck for one day and this one sold it right away. So yep. you can't be mad at her for selling it. <laughs> um, but I've got another one ordered. Uh, I've got two ordered. And I think say so. you better order multiple yeah. ones for those prices. I've got two ordered. And that's what she said. She said, well, yeah. if you're going to use that for that, you should order another one. So um, we got two. I'm going to use one at home. Instead of bringing out the big scanner right away, I'm going to mm -hmm. use it and see just what all it will do. Sure. Um, because sometimes these scanners go a little bit further than we thought, and it surprises everybody. Oh, yeah. Right. So um, we definitely want to try that. feel well, like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, the Rebels beat the dogs, and now uh, we, yeah. we're in the playoff cry now. So. I, there's a lot of arguments to be made there. Uh, I don't understand it. She tell she had to tell me to hush the other day at lunch. Yep. Um, because I've, I've been told that a bunch. Well, I here's was, my theory, and I'm gonna throw my theory out there first because you may have the same theory. If we'd have kicked a field goal against Kentucky, we'd have won a bank. We'd have won that game. Field goals. Field goals. Yeah. Yep. Multiple times. Same way at LSU. Because of that. I think we should just be playing a regular bowl game. Uh, same way at Florida. Yeah. Take all the times at all Florida. All three games we lost was because we didn't, we want to go for it on fourth and eight and something stupid. Or, like, or fourth and one and run the same play that they've stopped three times. Yeah. So, but I, mean, I was actually being better than that. I wasn't even talking about it. I was being good and eating my food. But the person next to me was so confident and loud about his beliefs and but was wrong about everything mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to be loud and confident in a restaurant to where everybody can hear you, yeah, you need to know be right about. yeah uh, and when and people's gonna be like well his opinion but well, it wasn't his opinion he stated that and i'm an Ole miss fan yep. we all know that yep. he stated that Ole miss should have been in the playoffs i agree we we're on the same page there i'm still doing good i'm mm -hmm. still eating my food right but where it got skewed is he said Alabama lost to Vanderbilt, uh, Oklahoma, and Ole Miss. Then he said Ole Miss lost to three teams, and then South Carolina lost to three teams, and every one of them was just completely wrong. Like we didn't even play, right, we didn't Alabama. play Alabama this year, and and she she, I, she could see me just going crazy because. <laughs> Everybody at the table that was sitting there listening to this guy is just kind of nodding along, and he's so loud and confident. And it's like, dude, if you're going to make the argument for Ole Miss, please be right. Because when you're saying all this, and they didn't even play this person and this person, and he's calling another guy uh, a, a, a bandwagon fan, and it's like, how are you an Ole Miss fan and think that we lost to Alabama this year? Right. You know, I, I, it was Alabama well, can, and somebody else. I can tell you that 
if you want to get in the college football playoffs, play non-conference games. Yeah. Against schools that you can beat. Yeah. And go ten and one. Yeah. You know. I and so wanted to correct that stay guy. Stay out of your own conference, and you'll get in a playoff every time. Now you may get beat first round, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, and he had us having two losses instead of three in it. I just wanted to go, hey, man, I'm glad you're on this, man. <laughs> but let's get the facts straight, That's you it. know. Please, you're making me you, you're making me twitch over here. But, you know, it is what it is. It's not nice to listen in, but he was being really loud. Oh, so wow. It was one of those that you just couldn't help it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hopefully you all enjoyed it and seen something you like and learned something new, like always. Hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. See ya.